Well, good morning, my friends. Uh, I'm inside uh, today. Walter's in timeout because of some stuff he's done, so he's out in the garage. Today's word comes from uh, Daniel 9, 26, and it says, And after 62 weeks shall the Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. This is a very, very important verse that I have found that God has allowed me to use when, when speaking to you know, Jewish people. They, one thing that I like about them is they really believe their Bible. They believe in the Old Testament. Uh, unlike a lot of quote unquote Gentiles that just sort of, they don't even believe the New Testament a lot of times. But the one thing that I've been questions before and have talked about is who is the Messiah and when is he coming? Well, if you look at this verse, it makes it really makes sense. And when I've shared this with them, they all have come to the same conclusion. Think about this verse. It says, after a certain period of time, which is around 600 years, after a certain period of time, it says the, the Messiah will be cut off but not for himself and the people of the prince that, here's the key, that shall come, that's in the future, shall destroy the, sixth, the, the city and the sanctuary. Well, that happened in 70 AD when Titus and the Roman legions came in and destroyed you know, the temple and everything. And that's one of the reasons that the, the Jewish people don't have a place for their annual sacrifice. So my question was, who was the Messiah? And it just makes logical sense that it says after a period of time, he would be cut off. Then the city and the sanctuary would be destroyed. So it has been destroyed. So for the Messiah to be cut off, he had to have been here. And every one of them say that uh, when we ask, well, what do you think of Jesus? And they would say, well, he was a great prophet or whatever. But see, that's not true either. Because Jesus was he, who he claimed to be, or he was the greatest liar and lunatic that ever walked this planet, because he claimed to be Yeshua. He claimed to be the Messiah. Now, the one thing that I found out, the Messiah is coming back, and a lot of my friend said, well, they thought he was going to come to rule and reign, set up his kingdom, and he is going to do that. But the first time he came was a sacrificial lamb. And like the Bible says that there are no more sacrifices. Uh, in Hebrews it says, and every priest stands daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifice. They can never take away sin. Why? Because once for all, when that veil was rent, and the Holy of Holies was opened up, there was no need for another priest to go in and offer a sacrifice for our sins because they were completely paid for. And I guess, uh, and by the way, you're hearing uh, the reason Walter got in trouble. My wife has uh, a small uh, dog and uh, she's so afraid Walter's gonna jump all over it and hurt him. But anyway, I guess my response is this, is just taking your religious head out of it. Just, again, think of the timeline. Jesus is the only one that fulfilled the Old Testament prophecy of the coming Messiah. And when he comes again, he is going to rule and reign and set up his kingdom. So my dialogue is this, Lord and my best friend, my Messiah, I thank you so much that you love me and that you paid the sacrifice that I could never pay for. And that one day we're going to get a chance to, to meet face to face. So it's in your name I pray. We'll talk again soon and often and I'll be listening until that day we can talk face to face. And it's your turn. I guess my takeaway is this to, you know, to my Jewish friends. Think, just think about what your, your Bible, the Old Testament says, and think of that timeline, and you'd be blessed. 
because Yeshua loves you and he loves me. And I'm so blessed to be part of that family. Have a blessed day. I got to go take care of these dogs. <laughs>